After more than a year of fundraising, a Southern Oregon high school marching band is heading to New York for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And News Watch 12 Steven Sandberg has more on what got them to this point and how the band is preparing for that very big stage. The Grants Pass High School Band has raised more than $300,000 and it's taking them to New York for the biggest performance of their lives. <laughs> A big sound for the Big Apple. More than a year after they received the invitation, the Grants Pass High School Band says they're ready to take on New York as the first Oregon high school band to play in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. As it gets closer and closer, it's more and more exciting. We actually have our drill and our music now, um, so that's really cool. Over the weekend, the band was able to raise $10,000 at the annual Pride of the Northwest competition. And aside from incidentals, the trip has been paid for. So that means lots of practice for the biggest stage they've ever seen. The natural feeling of performing for lots of people will kick in, but I guarantee there'll be nerves for, um, you know, 50 million people, I think it is, watching us. One hundred thirty seven students will make the trip and for many it will be a once in a lifetime experience. One hundred twenty of those have, have never been to New York. Um, about fifty of those kids have never been on a plane. One or two of those kids have never even been out of Southern Oregon. But it still hasn't hit some of them. I don't think it will until we're marching down, you know, down the middle of Times Square with the skyscrapers on either side of us. It's a reward that sounds in tune with their long efforts. The band says it knows the songs they plan to perform, but they say they cannot reveal them until the day of the parade. I'm the Grants Pass High School Band will soon be in New York to play in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. And it's been more than a year of fundraising for the band, but after all of that effort, the road to the Big Apple officially begins today. Have a safe trip, everyone. It's starting to seem real. But even as the Grants Pass High School Band packs its instruments, boards the buses, and flies to New York. They say the moment of realization will come when they're marching in the streets for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. They're very excited. I don't think they realize uh, what a shock they're in for. Going from Grants Pass to New York will be shocking enough without thinking of the massive audience they will have on Thursday. I've never performed in front of millions before. I've watched this parade every year since I was like really little that I can remember. So I know it's really intense and a lot of people watch it. But before the big day comes another first. Some of the students have never even been outside Southern Oregon. I'm one of those people who doesn't get excited about things until like it's happening. And I've never been on a plane either, so I'm pretty excited about that. Senior Caitlin Smith has known for years how talented the band is and says now their hard work is paying off. We're really good. We could totally do something really amazing. But it wasn't until this year that we got invited to do something that cool. Director Jason Garcia says much of the credit goes to the community, which helped the band raise hundreds of thousands of dollars to make this trip possible. Our community support has just been phenomenal. They've, they've done such a great job, and there's a lot. It's not just the Grants Pass High School Band and Auxiliary Traveling. It's, it's, we have the, the community you know, on our back, and we're going over there and representing everyone. And in a few days, that small community, along with millions of others, will watch those efforts pay off. The band is traveling by bus to Portland today and from there they'll fly out and arrive in New York early Monday morning. The Grants Pass High School marching band is now in New York preparing for their big performance in the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. Newswatch 12's Steven Sandberg has more on the band's arrival and their shock of going from a small town to the biggest city in America. The students say they've been excited about this day for months when they finally touch down in New York City. And despite an exhausting trip, they're ready to take their sound to the Big Apple. There will be plenty of time to see the sights in the city that never sleeps. But right now, for the Grants Pass High School Marching Band, the one thing on their minds is rest. We're not as, like, all upbeat because we're so tired. But we're definitely like excited to be here, and the skyscrapers are amazing to see. It started with a five-hour bus ride from Grants Pass to Portland, followed by flights to New York. So that didn't leave a whole lot of time for sleep. Some students tried to doze on the plane and were stunned by what they saw when they woke up. 
then I woke up for landing, and I actually got to look outside the window, and it was really cool seeing, like, the New York. We saw the New York skyline. The band knew it was going to be a culture shock to go to the largest city in America, but now it's finally hitting them. They're not in Grants Pass anymore. Seeing all the four tour buses full of band kids uh, in New York is just great. And, uh, knowing that we're representing Grants Pass here, and that's such a huge city, worlds apart from Grants Pass. On Thursday, they play in front of millions of viewers, but today, they're just awestruck visitors. No, it's more eye-opening because I'm so used to that small little grand pass and then like seeing all these lights go on and on forever was definitely a new experience. So the band takes an interlude tonight, resting up for when the fun officially begins. The band will take an official tour of New York City tomorrow with stops at the Statue of Liberty, Ground Zero, and Ellis Island. The Grants Pass High School Band is seeing the sights of the Big Apple as it prepares for the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade. The band spent its second day in New York touring the Statue of Liberty and Ellis Island. These are photos the students have been taking during their trip so far. And tonight, the students will attend a Broadway show. They say it has been a thrill to enjoy their time in New York before their big day on Thursday. It was so amazing. It's like you see the Statue of Liberty everywhere. You've seen it before on TV like every single person has. But actually being able to see it in real life, it was way cool. And she's really a lot bigger than I expected. The band is planning a day of rehearsal tomorrow to be ready for the parade Thursday morning. For many, it is the official kickoff of the holiday season as the Macy's Thanksgiving Day Parade made its traditional trek through the streets of New York City. Tens of thousands of spectators lined the streets and millions more watched on TV. And today, Southern Oregonians had even more reasons to tune in. After months of preparing and countless fundraisers, the Grants Pass High School Band marched their way onto national TV this morning. Happy Thanksgiving. I'm Erin Maxson. And I'm Danielle Craig. Ashley and Brian have the day off. The students in today's parade were not the only ones excited. Newswatch 12's Kaylin Krzyzewski takes us to a watch party in Grants Pass where parents, friends, and family gathered to cheer on their loved ones. From the little town of Grants Pass, Oregon, comes the big sounds of their high school marching band and auxiliary. Marching perfectly in step, the Grants Pass High School Band made their national debut loud and clear. I'm so proud of those kids. Oh my gosh. It's just, it's, it's payoff for thousands of hours and thousands of miles and thousands of um, volunteers. The community has just been so supportive, but this is what the payoff was. Don Boyd has three girls marching in the parade. And she says every year it is a family tradition to sit down and watch the parade together. Never having any idea that our kids would actually get to march in it, I, I just keep thinking how special that is. Boyd recorded the parade so the group could rewind it and watch the performance again. And she wasn't the only one emotional about the performance. You know, you know that feeling when you're so anxious to open up a Christmas gift or a birthday gift that you finally get, you got what you wanted, and then afterwards that excitement's just there for a little bit, and you're you're excited, you're relieved, and all the same, it's, it's the same emotion, it's the same feeling. After an emotional morning, the students decided to take advantage of their time in the Big Apple, while their friends and family back in Grants Pass continued to beam with pride. Small time school on big time TV is, is just really very exciting. In Grants Pass, Kaylin Krzyzewski, Newswatch 12. It's hard not to smile during that story. What a neat experience. The band's director hopes to apply to perform in the parade again, but not in the near future. He also says performing in the parade has opened many doors for their program. The band has recently have had invitations to perform in Indiana, Washington, D.C., and even London.